In this video we will discuss about the followers of John the Baptist. You may be thinking that this video is concerned about those followers who are mentioned in Acts 19, 1-6. Then you are wrong we will discuss those followers who are still following John the Baptist who are not Christians and their existence is since 2000 years. Surprised. Hello friends I'm Hebron Peters. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Christian Chronicler, Hebron Peters. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. It boosts up my moral to create informative videos related to Christianity. Let's start our informative videos. According to Acts chapter 19 verses 1 to 6. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, Into what then were you baptized? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. These disciples of John the Baptist was very lucky but not all. Some of the disciples of John the Baptist continued following the teaching of John the Baptist and are called Mandaya, where Manda means knowledge and Iir means John Noyuan and the religion is called Mandaism and they are also referred as Sabaeanism in Islam. It may possible that the disciples of John the Baptist may have escaped from Jerusalem, when John the Baptist was beheaded by Herod Antipas, sometime around AD 30 after John rebuked him for divorcing his wife, Pharsalus, and then unlawfully wedding Herodias, the wife of his brother Herod Philip I. The Mandines, Revere Adam, Abel, Seth, Enos, Noah. Shem, Aram, and especially John the Baptist. The Mandines have been counted among the Semites and speak a dialect of Eastern Aramaic known as Mandaic. Occasionally, Mandines are called Christians of Saint John. According to the Mandean text the Hurangawaita, the recorded history of the Mandines began when a group called the Nazarians, left Judea Palestine and migrated to Mesopotamia in the first century at. The reason given for this was their persecution in Jerusalem. The emigrants went first to Hurun which is modern day Turkey, and then the Median hills in Iran, before finally settling in the southern provinces of Mesopotamia which is modern day Iraq. At the beginning of the Muslim conquest of Mesopotamia, the leader of the Mandines, Anush son of Danku appeared before Muslim authorities showing them a copy of the Ginza Rabba, the Mandean holy book, and proclaiming the chief Mandean prophet to be John the Baptist, who is also mentioned in the Quran as Yahya bin Zachariah. This identified Mandines with the Sabians who are mentioned in the Quran as being counted among the Al Al Kitab, people of the book. This provided Mandines a status as a legal minority religion within the Muslim empire. Mandines recognize several prophets. Yea Yoanna, known in Christianity as John the Baptist, is accorded a special status, higher than his role in Christianity and Islam. Mandines do not consider John to be the founder of their religion but revere him as one of their greatest teachers, tracing their beliefs back to Adam. They consider Jesus as deceiver of John the Baptist and took over his ministry. Also Jesus was disciple of John the Baptist. Which is not true. Mandines do not believe in the sanctity of Abraham, Moses or Jesus, but recognize other prophetic figures from the Abrahamic religions, such as Adam, his son Seth, and his grandson, Enosh, as well as, Noah, Shem, and, Aram, whom they consider to be their direct ancestors. 
Mandeans also do not recognize the Holy Spirit in the Talmud and Bible, who is known in Mandaic as Ruha, Ruha de Kushor, or Ruha Mastanita, in the same way. Instead of being viewed positively as a Holy Spirit, it is viewed negatively as the personification of the lower, emotional, and feminine elements of the human psyche. The Mandeans have a large corpus of religious scriptures, the most important of which is the Ginza Bar or Ginza, a collection of history, theology, and prayers. The Ginza Bar is divided into two halves, the Genza Smala or Left Ginza, and the Genza Yemena or Right Ginza. Another important text is the Harangawe to which tells the history of the Mandeans. According to this text, a group of Nazarenes or Mandean priests left Judea before the destruction of Jerusalem in the first century and, and settled within the Parthian Empire. Other important books include the Cluster, the canonical prayer a book of the Mandeans, which includes a dialogue between John and Jesus. There is the Divan, which contains a description of the regions the soul ascends through, and the Yusfa Malwash, the book of the zodiacal constellations. The language in which the Mandean religious literature was originally composed is known as Mandaic, and is a member of the Aramaic family of dialects. The Mandean god is known as Hei Rabbi, the great living god. The lord of darkness, Krun, is the ruler of the world of darkness formed from dark waters representing chaos. A main defender of the dark world is a giant monster, or dragon, with the name Ur, an evil, female ruler also inhabits the dark world, known as Ruha. Despite this dualism, Mandeans only believe in one god who lives in the world of light. The two most important ceremonies in Mandean worship are baptism, Masbuta, and a mass for the dead or ascent of the soul ceremony, Masikta. Unlike other religions, Baptism is not a one-off event but is performed every Sunday, the Mandean Holy Day. Baptism usually involves full immersion in flowing water, and all rivers considered fit for baptism are called Yarden, or River Jordan. After emerging from the water, the worshipper is anointed with holy oil and partakes of a communion of bread and water. The ascent of the soul ceremony can take various forms, but usually involves a ritual meal in memory of the dead. The ceremony is believed to help the souls of the departed on their journey through purgatory to the world of light. Mandean pray three times a day. Mashkana is a place of worship for followers of Mandism. A Mandi must be built beside a river in order to perform masbuta, or baptism, because water is an essential element in the Mandean faith. Modern Mandis sometimes have a bath inside a building instead. Each Mandi is adorned with a dafash, which is a cross of olive wood half covered with a piece of white pure silk cloth and seven branches of myrtle. The cross is not identified with the Christian cross. Instead the four arms of the cross symbolize the four corners of the universe, while the pure silk cloth represents the light of God. The seven branches of myrtle represent the seven days of creation. Official numbers estimate that the current population of Mandean numbers between 60,000 and 70,000 people. Their proportion in their native lands has collapsed because of the Iraq war, with most of the community relocating to nearby Iran, Syria, and Jordan. Mandism does not allow conversion, and the religious status of Mandeans who marry outside the faith and their children is disputed. Like Parsas of India, so friends don't forget to like subscribe share and comment. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now. God bless you. Meet you in some other informative videos.